Hey, Papa here. We've talked about the different kinds of minerals that are important in Georgia rocks and the rocks of the eastern U.S. Those would be glassy quartz, lashy feldspar, uh, mira muscovite mica, and black biotite mica. Uh, we've also talked about the tools that we need to go out there and uh, look at rocks with. We know we must always crack our rocks. Now we're going to talk about probably the most important rock in Georgia that contains the big four minerals. That would be, you guessed it, granite. Okay, I'm going to show you a specimen of granite. Here we go. Oh, here's a good face. I hope you can see this. This is a piece of unweathered Elberton granite from the Elberton, Georgia granite quarry. Um, and so I want to make a distinction between rock that's unweathered and rock that's weathered. For, since this is from the quarry, it's never been exposed to weathering, so it looks really nice and it's easy to see the crystals. But usually you're going to find a rock that looks more like this. This is Elberton granite also. Uh, and see how it's weathered. That's what you're going to find out on the surface. This is what you're going to find when you go to the quarry. <clears throat> so anyway, let's look for the um, crystals here. It's hard to see. Rocks are hard to see. But um, on film and photographs. But you can definitely see white spots, right? That would be what? feldspar and in the case of granite it's going to be mostly potassium feldspar okay uh, you can see i can see black spots what would that be biotite easy to spot all the gray stuff in there is going to be what right glassy quartz so there's a lot of that elberton granite has a lot of quartz in it all granite has a lot of quartz in it so that's elberton granite elberton granite is huge and it's found up in El Elberton, uh, Elbert County, Georgia. Um, the Elberton granite is used for all kind of cool things, mainly tombstones, but granite is also used for countertops, granite countertops. Also, many buildings are made out of granite. So that's Elberton granite. Now let's look at another kind, the second most famous granite in Georgia. What do you think? It's located east of Atlanta. It's a big mountain called Stone Mountain. This is Stone Mountain granite. Okay. Can you see those? Um, I see a lot of gray in there, right? What is that gray stuff? That gray stuff is quartz. And you see the white potassium feldspar. I see black biotite. And you might be able to see lots of tiny little... Miramuscomite flashes in there. Okay, so um, <clears throat> that's Stone Mountain granite. Now the thing about what's the difference between Stone Mountain granite and Elberton granite? Well, there's not a lot of difference. They're both granites, but the Stone Mountain granite has a little bit more Miramuscomite in it, from my perspective. And the two granites are not connected in space. In other words, they don't run underground and connect, but it, they, are, they were formed about the same time. Okay, so that's those are our most famous granites. Here's another granite. This is kind of slightly weathered, but look at those big feldspar crystals in there. Kind of pinkish. You can see a lot of black biotite. Um, so this is a granite from Siloam, Georgia, which is south of Atlanta. Big crystals. So we know that granite can have crystals of various sizes. Um, look at this. Look at the size of these crystals. We may have seen this piece before. A lot. See the flashy feldspar? Black biotite. All this gray stuff is, is glassy quartz, and there's some mirror muscovite in there, maybe. Yeah. This is big crystals, and granite with big crystals is called pegmatite granite. We'll talk more about pegmatites, but it's still granite. 
uh, generally speaking, the slower the granite magma, which is just lava that's underground, it's molten rock, the slower uh, that it cools, the bigger the crystals form because uh, a slow cooling means the crystals have more time to grow. So this probably cooled very slowly and the crystals had plenty of time to grow big. Uh, the minerals. Um, here's a weathered, uh, weathered piece of granite. This is what you find out on the ground. And you can see the different minerals in it. Another piece of weathered granite. I see the white specks, a lot of white spots that are the feldspar, and there's quartz in there too. See some little sparkly muscovites in there. So that's granite. Oh, here's one more. This is a piece of granite that doesn't come from Georgia. It may not even come from the United States. Um, but you can buy it at the Elberton Granite Quarry because they sell all kinds of, not only the granite that comes from the quar their quarry, but they, they, they sell granites from all over the world. And this has been uh, cut and polished smooth. See how shiny it is. Easy to see. Look, what do you think the pink is? That's right. That's feldspar. That's potassium feldspar. Almost, a feldspar is almost, potassium feldspar is almost always going to be white, but it can also be pink. White and pink. And I haven't seen potassium feldspar and any other color. Sodium feldspar and calcium feldspar, which are the other kinds of feldspar, those are always going to be white. So if you see pink feldspar, especially in a granite rock, you know you've got potassium feldspar. Isn't that pretty? That's countertop material for sure. So that's granite. And that was my toe. Not really. <laughs> so granite, in order for a rock to be granite, it's got to have for sure quartz, for sure feldspar, um, almost always biotite mica and often muscovite mica. It's got to have at least three of those big four minerals. There's a tremendous amount of granite um, in Georgia and in the eastern United States. And so the next video, I'll talk about how granite forms. Pop out.